Hi, my name's John and I run a small business called Procraft. And what I'm going to show you today is our way of turning um, a bottle stopper. Um, I'm just going to touch on the traditional um, bottle stoppers in which you get one of these pieces. If you can see that, that's a machine thread at this end and a wood thread at this end. They're quite good, but they do have the disadvantages of getting them in and out of the piece of wood. And if you have a problem with a piece of wood, once it's screwed onto this end, it's extremely difficult to get it out. And we thought there was a better way of turning a bottle stopper. And our way um, is using this little mandrel here. Um, again, it's an 8mm thread with a nut and a small washer. Our bottle stoppers come looking like that. And they have a wood insert thread which means both ends of this bottle stopper um, have a machine thread. A machine thread at this end and a machine thread at this end. But what I'm going to show you now is how simple it is to actually use our bit of kit. Right, what I'm going to do is uh, take my wood blank and this is an 11mm drill bit, but you can use a 10mm drill bit um, and give it a bit of a wiggle. It depends on the type of wood that you've got and how close grained a piece of wood in it. An 11mm drill bit is ideal. And I'm now simply going to drill a pilot hole in the wood blank. Depth is not critical. Having done that, I'm then just going to put a little countersink in the top of the blank. Obviously if you're doing quite a few of these, you can do them all at the same time. That's now ready to have the insert screwed into it using an 8mm Allen key, which I'll do now. So, I've drilled my um, pilot hole. My wood insert screw is there and I use an 8mm hex key just to screw in the wood insert. When it's drilled in level it will automatically pull the insert in level. That's now inserted and that's ready to be mounted on the lathe. I'm now going to um, using, this is a four jaw chuck, but a standard three or four jaw chuck, take the um, mandrel, pop it into the chuck and get it in there nice and tight. Pop the nut onto the end of the mandrel and the small washer. The small washer is not the exact size um, of the bottle stopper because there are different size bottle stoppers. It's just um, a, a gauge to give you an idea of roughly what size you're turning to and if you slip with a tool just to stop that tool catching on the nut. I can then add the blank onto the end of that and holding a 13mm spanner onto the nut just to get that on nice and tight. That's now ready for turning. Okay good. Yep, okay. What I'm now going to do um, is actually turn the um, turn the blank. I'm going to use the tailstock, um, and uh, I'm not concentrating on this today, but another small product that we do. This is just a scrap bit of wood, um, and we sell these little rubber sticky pads um, just to support the end, and it actually doesn't mark the end of the turning. It doesn't matter when you're in a rough bit of wood like that, but just to give it some support, I'll just put that on the end.
just to give an idea of how it works. I also haven't measured the end, um, but it looks roughly the right sort of size. Obviously you might take a little bit more care when you're doing a live one. I'm just going to use a 13mm spanner just to loosen that off and you can then see that bottle stopper will just unscrew straight off there. If you wanted to remount it, it's very easy just to remount it again in the same spot. Nice and tight and you can then refinish or return, change the design if you wanted to. Once you've got your finished stopper, and this isn't completely finished as you've probably seen, um, you can take your bottle stopper with the insert and it then simply screws straight into the top and there you have a ProCraft bottle stopper. Um, these are just a few of um, my odd designs of bottle stoppers and as you can see they all have the insert screw um, underneath and they've all been turned using the ProCraft mandrel uh, and bottle stopper system. Um, Steve, my cameraman, is going to choose one of the bottle stoppers now. Which one do you fancy, Steve? The one on the end. This one? Yes. Okay. And there's the uh, bottle stopper. And that goes on there. And there we have a finished bottle stopper. The one advantage that um, the system has is if you get any errors with any of these, and I'm not going to take it out of that one because I've got a spare one here which isn't particularly good, that's my turning. The wood insert screw um, can actually be removed and reused um, time and time again until you get it right. These are extremely tough bits of kit um, and as you can see easy to get.